so uh, this is our thoughts on uh, Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Um, where, first of all, where do you think Saul went after Breaking Bad? Alaska. <laughs> Most you know what? likely, because what do you, job do you think he would be doing? Because he can't be a lawyer anymore. Working at a Cinnabon. <laughs> <It's not laughs> oh my god! So working at a Cinnabon. Just picture him right now being the most miserable fucker alive. Yeah, he'd be awesome at it. He'd, because he'd be, it would be his, uh, it would be his, uh, his front. He'd be laundry money for it. True. And he becomes the next Gus Fring, except he owns a lot of Cinnabons, and he becomes, a, he gets Jesse to work for him when he comes back with the Need for Speed. <laughs> And he's like, I made all this money. So, so whatever all... happens to Need for Speed, if so he doesn't die, he's so he puts to... all this money into fuck Need for Speed. Wait, hold on. If he doesn't meet, if he doesn't die in Need for Speed, he might come back and show up in Better Call Saul. How if like the new show Better Call Saul? How many seasons do you think it would last? Cause well, okay, the guy how... Saul is an amazing actor. I forget his name. His real his real name. I I, I... Bob Odenkirk. Yeah, Bob yeah. Odenkirk. Yeah, he's good. He was actually in Let's Go to Prison as a lawyer. I thought that was Will Arnett when I first saw it. Well, no, that's Will Arnett. Yeah, I know, I know. So, no, um, he actually also kind of reminds me of uh, a little bit of, what's that dude from 30 Rock? Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin? Just slightly, just slightly. So, uh, Better really? Call Saul. Well, slightly. Okay. For fuck's sake, I don't know. So, Better Call Saul, yeah. Um, what, what's, what I think is going to happen, and a lot of people think is going to happen, and also you have this idea, is that they're going to... I, have flashbacks, have flash forwards, and then maybe have it end with him meeting Walter. Yeah, and that's what I want to see. Like, if it, that would if be it cool. goes for five seasons, and the last season happens, the best way to end it is for him to meet Walter White for the first time, and then Rule. it just ends like that. My thing to it though is, but think about it. He's like, he's in his office. Like, it's like his secretary tells him, like, "Oh, we got somebody waiting for you outside." He goes, "Okay." And then he opens the door, and you see Brian Cranston as Walter White, and it ends just like that, it's black. That'd be perfect, but how I would like to see it, actually, sitcom. Really? Uh, yeah, the reason why... kind of weird. No, it's a 30-minute sitcom. And the reason why? They put it... Because, truth be told, yeah, it'd be cool to see his origins and how he went from being an Irish lawyer to become Jewish, and or I know how he did it, but it'd be cool to see that... But no, um, I, I would actually like to see it in the in the style of. I'm not gonna finish How I Met Your Mother. It, I'd be like to see it in the style of like any other like Seinfeld or some shit, like where he, it's okay, where it's basically him in the future, or in the present, you know, past Fel Felina, and where he's basically doing. But Peter Call Saul is just taking place before. All no, 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 no. But I, I, what I'm saying is, I would like before to before he meets. How, no, no. But how I'd like to see it is, I'd like to see it where it's him in Alaska. Imagine you just sit him on, <laughs> and he's retelling, and he's basically, and he's decided to fuck my life. So it's a, kind of like how I met your mother. No, 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 it's no, like, no. Well, he, like they start. I was like, oh, I want to tell the story of how I met your mother, and then they end the season with when they met the when he finally marries the mother or meets her or some shit like that. No, I don't want to like. Break, Better Call Saul, he's like starts out in the Cinnabon, like you said, and starts recounting stories about how he got there. Well, yeah, but what, what I mean by that, and I'm fucking, I'm starting like Walter Jr. What I, what I, what I'm saying is how I'd like to see it though is definitely as a 30 minute series, even if it's not as a sitcom, because an hour, don't get me wrong, is great, but they could do so many more episodes, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but then again, we would have maybe filler content with that, so it's kind of, it's debatable. 45 to an hour could uh, would also work in that case. But yeah, no, where it's him in the future working, or him in the present in Alaska, working on a Cinnabon as a manager, he's done as a front business, and he has basically decided, screw my life, this is what I've done, I wanna go to, I wanna die. And he decides to take the, do, you know, the rice in. He decides to find out, he contacts Jesse and somehow or another, asks Jesse how to make rice in, and then he tries to kill himself. Does Jesse know how to make rice in? He can Okay. But okay, but that that's just getting sidetracked. Jet would that call go? It's like calls up Jesse and was like, Yo dude, can you make some rice for me? You see like Jesse loses shit. It's like, Fuck! How are you still alive? I thought you were dead. So no. Like his, and like that kid died from rice, almost died from rice and well, no, rock. But, but well okay, but that's the other thing. They they could so okay, here's how I could also see it. Cinnabon, Alaska, and he that's still how I wanna see it. <laughs> <laughs> or he, or he's in New Hampshire, managing a deli. No, a Cinnabon. He still works at the Cinnabon. Cinnabon. He's, he just wants salt to run the Cinnabon. I do, yes, because that's what I said. It'd be his dream job. No, he's so miserable at his job. 
He realizes that it's the only way he can make money, so he decides he's getting sick of his life. He goes in, he has a new identity, right? Because that's what he does. Yeah. And he goes in under, you know, and goes to the cops. And this is him telling the whole story of how he met Heisenberg. And then he shoots himself. Show over! That could work. That would be, uh, that'd be a cool show. Have, have Brian Cranston in that show, and I don't think he could be in that show. No, 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 no. I'm saying all his events up to meeting Heisenberg, then you cut the black. Oh, you're talking about the last episode. Yeah, then he shoots himself at the end. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. So then he talks about how he basically, and then he's, and as he does this, he also does the flash forwards where he's also explaining Heisenberg, but he does it, he's basically phone calls and things like that. So you don't actually see, or you, you have a, someone as a stand in, you just have, you know, Brian doing all the lines, and Brian? someone. Just, Brian Cranston? Oh, Brian. Doing, all the, doing all the lines, and someone else is a stand in who's bald and has the hair and everything, right? So they could do it, or see, I don't freaking know. And that's what they do. And you just have it all from Saul's perspective. And so, and you know, he has his back. I don't know. I'm just saying, I'd like to see something like that. Right? It could work. Like, and that, that would be cool. And then that way, it, well, maybe he doesn't shoot himself or something, but that's how they should, that, they could end it that way too. I also, like I said, I like it when, if he met Walter White and then it ends like that. Well, that's what I mean. And it cuts to black, and then there's an epilogue sequence. No, just cut to black no? and that's it. Because then, no, but then, bad. But then, start. But then, then you can go watch uh, Better Call Saul, and then when that's over, watch Breaking Bad to see what happens after that. Actually, because we know what's going to happen, but it would be cool to watch it anyway. Yeah. Uh, did you see that? Uh, back to the finale, though. Did you see that final? Uh, did you see that one episode? Not episode, but did you see that one clip on YouTube where it's uh, Malcolm in the Middle? Yes. And he's like, that was amazing. And you see the hat Ryan there? Hansen actually did that. In, I know, it was, it was great. Because, like, so many people made jokes with, like, Malcolm in the Middle and Breaking Bad. He finally did one, and then he was, that was so awesome. It's like, I was. Best line in there, he goes, like, there was this guy who never spoke and rang a bell. <laughs> and he exploded. And this guy who kept on saying curse words, he said, yo, bitch. <laughs> I think his name was, like, Jesse or something. Like, he was like dressing up in his older brother's clothes and sh stuff. And there's Lois there, not up leaving a word. He was like, oh, go to bed. I'm glad they got her, though. I'm yeah, glad, I'm glad I, I'm they glad. got uh, whatever her name is. Her real name, I forget. Yeah. Lois. I'll well, call her Lois. We'll just call her Lois. Oh, God. Have you noticed how many Loises are in TV? Family Guy. Superman. Superman. Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm. I think that's it. No, there's a few more. I know there's a few more, but anyways, so yeah, that, that's, that's, I guess, our thoughts on uh, Better Call Saul. I mean, again, Alaska, New Hampshire, Cinnabon, manager, hates his life, flashbacks, telling the cops his story, either dies or gets arrested. Because, I mean, that's what happens for a dirty lawyer, right? Right, exactly. Like, there's no, there's no good way you're coming out of that. Or he's on his deathbed. This is all on a videotape. He's on his deathbed recounting stories. Or... So how do you think How I Met Your Mother is going to end? It's going to end when he meets her at the train station. I think it's going to be him. Dude, I seriously think it's going to end at the exact moment where he's in Farhampton. Or no, wherever that bus station is. Farhampton. Farhampton. Where he's just sitting there, station. being all miserable. And then his wife, his future wife, is standing over there. He sees her, walks over and says, hi. She says, hi. And it ends like that. That'd be cool. I could definitely see that. Or it could be how it's Bob, why it's actually Bob Saget. It's because it's Bob Saget reading the will. Or reading a transcript. Cause I, oh yeah, they better okay. explain why Bob Saget's doing the voice. Because like what, does Ted Mose be more That's... into Bob Saget in the end or what? And then it goes to fa and then it goes to Full House. Yeah, well you know Full House is coming back possibly. Oh god. You remember the Rodeways? Why right. would they, they need, because you know the Olsen twins will bitch out on that. I would love Bob to see Bob Saget, he would do it but his image would be tarnished again because he's such a raunchy guy. I would love. John Stamos would do it, but he would ask for a lot of money. I would the only be, one that you fucker. The I would love one, to well, see the only one that would actually do it because he needs somebody. A roast of Brian Cranston. Is Dave Coulier. Dave Coulier would do it because he needs the oh. money badly. I would love to see a roast of Brian Cranston, and they would make all these Heisenberg jokes. You are the one that knocks. Or you are the one that fucks. Yeah. You are the one that pisses. So, oh yeah. On the topic, oh yeah, another good episode of, of Breaking Bad. They all go to space and they make meth in space, clicky bad style. Shark. Shut the fuck up! 
That game sucks. Ass. It's so terrible, but it's so addictive. Stop playing. I'm at 90. And stop watching My Little Pony, goddammit. No, it. no, there is no intervention. I am at 98. I'm looking at intervention. I'm at 98 trillion dollars in clicking Who back. Who gives a shit? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh my god. It's so bad. Look at, look at, it's loading, loading, loading. Look at that. Oh, okay, I'm at one trillion dollars now. Point is. This band has no life. Heisenbelt. Industrial Seriously. Complex, Meth Star. Plays Clipping Bad and watches My Little Pony. Uh, How worse can I get? Yo, I, yo, yo, yo. I have, I have a Rainbow Dash thing. So, oh, hell. <laughs> okay, so our conclusions on this two-parter is this. Cinnabon, Alaska, Saul, Cops, Merry Christmas. True. That would be great. Yes. They need to make a Christmas, ep Christmas episode of Breaking Bad. Just a mini series where, actually, that's a, like I said. Another thing I like to see is what actually happens to Jesse. Why not make a spin-off show with him? It's because one. It's one insane. episode. It's one episode. He's pissed off. He takes care of Brock, and then he shoots himself. And he says, "Bitch, the entire time." <laughs> Yo, the bitch, bitch, I be a king. He calls Brock a bitch. Yo, bitch, eat your cereal. I don't want bitch. my. And Brock finally, yeah, Brock finally gets his damn Fruit Loops. It's like, bitch, here's your Fruit Loops. Eat the bitch Fruit Loops. Let's play, let's play bitch at Xbox, bitch. I'm waiting for a Breaking Bad game. Oh, God. I and that's another thing I want to discuss. Since AMC made The Walking Dead, why not make I want a Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad game. the game from uh, Traveler's Tales? Was it? Yeah, the ones who made the the AM, the, the Walking Dead uh, game, which, you know, I'm going to go download episode, or season two now and go try that out because it made me cry every team. But um, no, I'm serious. I would actually like to see them do that. And you play as Hank. You play as Hank. You play as Hank. I want to play as Heisenberg. Well, no, no, my, I'm saying Rise, you play, I'm saying you play multiple perspectives. Oh, you play as okay. Hank. You play as Jesse. You play as Heisenberg. You play as Holly. <laughs> Remind me who Holly is again? The daughter. Who? The baby daughter. Who? Oh, the baby daughter. Oh, she does this cry and poop. Oh, that person. And then you wait, and then you, and there's one episode, there's one mission where you're in a fire truck and you have to drive with your mind. Uh, yeah, the entire season, or the entire game. Yep, there's one level where you have to give Walter White breakfast and serve it right. Oh, my God. You have to put the 51 <laughs> as the fake you know, put it. There's like five points to make the 51 and have him have drink orange juice. Oh god. And then you play as Walter Jr. and you finally go be no, Lewis. The level of Walter Jr. Wait, we've never met Lewis. Yeah. I'm still I'm still adamant that they're gay lovers. Starcross gay lovers. <laughs> I have no idea. But the level of Walter White is just him eating breakfast the entire time. <laughs> Walter Jr. Oh, and he goes to school, and he gets off a bus. And then comes back and makes the, uh... And he puts on pants. And walks around. And, and he walks breakfast again. Oh my god, you gotta get play a game. You gotta play the room game. I played the room. It wasn't that great. The Newgrounds one? Have you seen the movie The Room? Of course. Oh, gonna... hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Like, tell me about your sex life. Huh? I did not hit. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I did not hit that. Riff tracks, dude. Need to do that on that movie. I don't think so. Because, like, the guy who made it is... Tommy Wiseau? Tommy Wiseau. Wiseau? Well, like, put copyright on No, that. actually, he won't. People have uploaded it. He doesn't give a shit. Really? He doesn't? Because I'm a shit of my dude. Nostalgia Critic did a commentary on that one time, and he told him to take it down and shit. Oh, well, if you're... Okay, I'm sorry. But that was years ago, though. Yeah. Then again, this new copyright, whatever. So that's what our thoughts on Better Call Saul, and How I Met Your Mother, and apparently Cinnabons. It's fucking Cinnabons. Cinnabons. They're terrible. Also, fuck Brian Griffin, is all I'm gonna say. Oh god. I don't give a shit about him dying. He's back yeah, alive. I know that. Because people are that fucking stupid that they lose their shit over a cartoon dog dying. Nelson Mandela fucking died a couple days ago. It was symbolic of, of, of saying yet, fuck you. Yeah, and nobody talked about Nelson Mandela. All Everybody talked about we'll Brian cut you. Griffin. I'll cut you. It's a fake money. I'll have a weird roll one in my pocket. So, what the fuck is the phone? Hey, a sonic screwdriver. By the way, I still have to watch Doctor Who. What season are you on? None. Ha, huh, you need to watch it now. Oh, and to a certain someone that's going to be watching, that I know will be watching, War Doctor is nine. Deal with it. What the fuck? It's he's gonna get pissed off. I know it, but I love trolling him. 
But anyways, that's it for now. Take it easy, humanoid f- nation. Humanoid freaking, my dumbing out. Bye.